Now we have arrived at the Final Fantasy game that many celebrate as the best in the series, namely Part 6. If it wasn't for my nostalgic love for another game in the series, I had agreed. Therefore, Part 6 has an indisputable second place on my list. After Part 5, Square Enix ran on all cylinders and created one of the most beautiful Super Nintendo games ever. Other games would compare to press the console to the max, but the steampunk influenced world and setting is something I missed and would love to see in an upcoming game in the series. Yes, I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy 16. In 1994, Japan and the United States got the game released on Super Nintendo. In Europe, we had to wait until 2002 when the game was released on PlayStation 1. I would recommend avoiding that version due to terrible loading times. The Game Boy Advance version had a few cool additions which I actually do not know if they are included in the iOS and PC version. In this story we followed Terra, used by the Empire to lead their latest magitech troopers to the city of Nars, where there was a frozen Esper, the game summoned basically, that is just waiting to be grabbed. But things escalate quickly, and Terra loses control of her powers. She wakes up and is told that the resistance movement needs her help to fight the Empire. Reluctant, she follows the thief Locke, and that is the start of a grandiose adventure. Final Fantasy VI just feels bigger and more daring than many of the other Final Fantasy games before it. A magnificent opera scene, suplex a ghost train, and it actually let the world go to ruin thanks to the charismatic William Kefka, just one of the many, many, many memorable characters from this game. With the 14 character rooster, you may think there's not enough time for a character development, but believe me, it there is. Final Fantasy VI has some of the strongest and saddest scenes in the game series. At the same time, much hope is flourishing during the struggle against the Empire and Kefka. The game is just wonderful, from graphics and setting, to the unique abilities of characters, to one of the best Uematsu soundtracks ever performed. Playing this game is always a delight, and it will be a great fun experience again, although it was the last game I ran from start to finish in addition to 15. I played the iOS version in 2015, I believe. Despite that, I'm really looking forward to meet Terra, Locke, Edgar, Sabin, Sian, Gao, Celes, Setzer, Strago, Realm, Shadow, Mog, Gogo, and Umara again in the magnificent game that is Final Fantasy VI.